Well, it is one of the most famous photos in Jacksonville history, a life-saving and really a life-changing moment ever since called the kiss of life 50 years ago this month. That's right. So this picture right here shows one electrical lineman saving a team member who had just been jolted by a live wire, an emergency so dire it had to happen 20 feet above the ground. First Coast News Jeff Vallon met the man today who rescued his friend. Jeff reports from the spot where it all happened. I'm really interested to hear this, Jeff. Yes, good evening. It was right about here on West 26, some 20 feet above the ground, where J.D. Thompson gave what will forever be known as the kiss of life, saving the life of a fellow electrical lineman. He told me in a modest tone, sure, one life was saved, but several were changed permanently. Did you think you were going to save him in that moment, do you think? Uh, no. Hey, he was blue. I mean, a gray blue. The photo, 50 years old this month, is black and white, but J.D. Thompson vividly recalls the deathly color of his fellow electrical lineman Randall Champion's skin moments after Champion took a 2400 volt shock while working on a pole in Jacksonville. It was a jolt that could have gone either way. A lot of people have survived just according to how, how long you're hooked onto it, you know, and uh, a lot of people have been killed instantly. The quick thinking Thompson had to run about 400 feet and climb another 20 up the pole to keep his friend alive with CPR. The serendipitous photo has kept the moment alive in perpetuity. I was putting air in him as hard as I could go and also trying to reach around him and hit him in the chest. And all I want to he come to. The unlikely picture also netted newspaper photographer Rocco Morabito, who was in the area that day to cover a railroad strike, a Pulitzer Prize. Went down to the railroad yard and there's nothing going on. And so he come back and that he'd take some pictures because, you know, there's crew working and all this going on, you know. The men were on a crew making clearance for new hardware when Champion grabbed a wire he thought was dead. He got a hold of the hot wire with his forefinger and uh, it come out his, I think it was the left foot, and it, and it blew a hole where it come out his foot. The two were already friends and had been hired the same day four years earlier. J.D. says Champion was out of work a few months he says the moment, with help from a timely shutter click, has had an effect much longer lasting that's passed down countless lines since. My sister-in-law recently found on Facebook there's a lineman in Washington State State has this tattooed on his arm. Both Randall Champion, the man saved, and Rocco Morabito, the photographer, have since passed away. On West 26th in Jacksonville, Jeff Ballin, First Coast News. It was so 